Mainers living with post-traumatic stress disorder will soon have another option to manage their symptoms. Starting next week, state law will allow doctors to legally recommend medical marijuana for patients. And until I found medical marijuana, I was a ticking time bomb. When Marine Corps Sergeant Ryan Beacon's elbow was blown off by a roadside bomb in Iraq in 2004, that was just the beginning of his pain. Doctors also diagnosed him with post-traumatic stress disorder. Any situation you see, all you see is the danger side of things. You don't see, you know, you don't just see a street. You see a road that could be full of bombs. You see uh, drunk drivers. You see people being unsafe. And you see all these horrific things around any daily event. Began finally found relief in marijuana, then started working with advocates like medical marijuana caregivers of Maine so others could find relief too. We ran in Humvees, you know, we dealt with IEDs and stuff. So when I go under an overpass now, you know, I, I still, the hair on the back of my neck, you know, it, it, it's nerve wracking. But now with the use of medical marijuana, it only occurs for a, you know, a brief second, couple seconds. It's there and then it flows through me. I'm not, it's not beating me in the back of the eyeballs continually. Supporters say legally allowing patients to use pot will help anyone dealing with PTSD. It definitely helps um, making it able to think yourself through, you know, a lot of anxiety. Um, sometimes it completely just takes the anxiety right away um, and you can just continue on with your day. Amendments to the law will also allow patients with movement disorders and irritable bowel syndrome to use medical marijuana. Veterans say the change could change their lives. It can make the difference between sending somebody down the, the, the wrong road, down the uh, mental institutions in jail to integrating back into society and being productive. Other changes in the medical marijuana law take effect next Monday too, like limiting state fees for caregivers and dispensaries. For more information, you can log on to mmcmonline.org.